cycle trying to addict you to the current armed conflict somewhere in the world and the spin that the world wants to put on it maybe you've clicked off simply because that is what's going on around you and it just gets old yet i think it's important to see some things that are presented during this conflict between the powers in the land of palestine specifically those between the nation of israel and hamas now, firstly uh, you should watch the footage from Israel and about what Israel is doing so that you can get a vision of tactics. Well, many of the tactics used in Israel right now were demonstrated and perfected on the streets of Iraq and Afghanistan by your next door neighbors. Just as it's important to watch Ukraine and Russia for the same reasons, you get to see the Western um, state actors present methodology they think works and which will be repeated elsewhere if it does work um, like your house your street or your city sometime in the future for example watching the use of uh, remote controlled d8s being used by israel in gazan streets now the use of a d8 to open doors is nothing new but um Watching it be played out with automation and uh, remote control vehicles helps us to think out our own methodology in the future. How will we react if those taxes are used against us? What might be effective to stop it? Uh, do you have the means for your own killdozer to level the playing field? A second aspect that I think is important for us to see is how the insurgent class reacts to attacks. Um, how they attack themselves, and then, of course, how they shape the response from the more conventional force. The IDF uh, demonstrated via their YouTube channel how Hamas is dressing local, right? Jeans and regular work clothes instead of uniforms, anything that would identify them as uh, the insurgent force or the combatant military force themselves. Truly really hitting IDF targets uh, with RPGs and small arms fire, and then running off. If they get killed doing so, they now look like the local population of non-combatants, and they garner more support from the world at large. Now, the IDF has to change their tactics to respond to the questions posed by the optics this provides. Uh, the IDF now has to deal with not only the threat of insurgents physically, but to deal with their attacks politically. The political fight can be the most difficult as it runs the risk of drawing bigger combatant forces into the mix. Now, we see this type of warfare here at home all the time. Um, our nation spearheaded much of the doctrine that is used by current insurgent forces throughout the world. We use these types of tactics with our operatives, with our special forces, um, specifically our Green Berets go and and do this stuff in other countries. And then really every narcotics or a plain closed uh, unit in the country uses some of these same tactics, fitting in to look like the citizenry. Uh, the cartels often use these small unit tactics as they push their narco-terrorism agendas forward uh, to control more of the money. It's happening right around us all the time. Observing how it is done there is very important for us because inevitably, if any tactic works somewhere else, it will be used where you live. On both sides, whether or not we're the conventional force or the um, insurgent force, both are important to remember. Once you see a tactic used in a foreign land and put into your own context, you start seeing tradecraft everywhere you go. I remember taking my first narcotics class and um, observing what a hand-to-hand -hand buy was 
And eventually what happened was every time I went anywhere in my city, I observed hand-to-hand -hand drug transactions. And of course, drugs aren't the only thing that are transacted hand-to-hand. -hand. And so having the idea and the knowledge of a trade craft, things that you can learn right now on YouTube by simply looking at what's going on somewhere else, uh, you will start to be able to see it all around you. And that'll give you a heads up. That'll give you a step up. And so that the ability to pick up on things happening in your mist can really help in your survival and that of the ones you love. So it's important for you to uh, look at all these different aspects of both sides of this insurgency. And so that you have that, uh, that kind of uh, bare understanding of some of the trade craft around you. The third thing I think you should be watching is the propaganda arm of both organizations. If you go to the IDF's YouTube channel, you will see a constant stream of information being put out that is purposed to shape the way you think. It is designed to help you see what the Israeli warfighter sees and to repel accusations that um, are made by the opposing forces. And of course, to garner support from you for their cause. Hamas has similar entities doing the same thing. And it is very reminiscent of what we see going on every day between uh, the two main political parties in the United States. I noted that I get political messages from both parties, even though um, I have only ever supported one. I get the feeling that uh, it is the one that I have supported in the past that sends me both. And it's purpose to get a response as I hear of what the other side is doing. And then I'm more likely to open my wallet back up to the entity who I once supported in the past. Truly, we need to see this stuff for what it is. At home, if you are ever involved in an occurrence, the media will be used to propagate falsities about you. It'll be caused to paint you in a particular light that is probably contrary to the truth. Look at the Rittenhouse case. Everything was done possible prior to Mr. Rittenhouse ever going to court to make him look like the aggressor and for the others involved to look like the victims. Now, when you go to court, which I have spent a bit of time on the stand in the past, you will find that the first thing a defense attorney will do is try to make the witness look culpable in the crime that their client committed. The other act, thing they'll, they'll try to do is, of course, paint you in a light to make you seem untrustworthy so that uh, everything that proceeds that is the truth from your mouth uh, will not be actually admissible. Sadly, the truth is generally the least of worries in a court proceeding these days. But instead, they care more about the way it looks, the way people feel about it, and of course, how it's already been spun. We have many prosecutions and have seen many prosecutions since 2020 that had little to do with justice or even reality and really only mattered about social beliefs. So we need to watch how the propaganda machine is playing out there so that we can see how it is being manipulated here. And so we can deal with this disinformation we are being fed on a daily basis. This will help us to discern the right actions in our lives and to speak truth to the people around us in the midst of the chaos. These are three reasons why I think it is important for you to keep tabs on the current conflict and, of course, each new conflict going forward. Of course, I don't want you to get um, caught up in the anger or the fear that might be coming from these sources. So um, just, you know, check yourself before you wreck yourself. I appreciate you watching this. Um, I hope that it just gets those fluids going in your brain and um, maybe we can have a conversation on how we move forward.